Okay, I want to introduce you guys to Epic. It's one of the apps that you can use, like Dreambox or Lexia. It's one that you have more choice in terms of reading. It's a great source for books online or books that are read aloud to you, especially if you feel like you're running out of books to read at home and the libraries are closed. So one way to access this is through Clever. I sent an email out about logging onto Clever. It's like magic. My version probably looks different from yours. Um, so I do want to point out that there is a page if you go to. It has a link to our YouTube channel where you can find all the videos we have. It also lines up the most important apps we use. You can use your own homepage too, it's no problem. Clever does mean you already need to be logged in. You do need the apps already downloaded on your device, but you can use this so that you don't have to log in every time. You just have one master code. You can also log into Epic as a website, getepic.com. You'll go through the login process, choose student, and then put in the class code that I gave you. From there, you'll see a bunch of different students. You all have different avatars. I chose guest student because that way I can show you around what it looks like if you're a kid. So there are a lot of books. There's regular chapter books. There's picture books. There's books that are read aloud to you where you can see the book as you go. There's books that you just listen to. They're purely audio books. So I can browse through some books, look through and go, hmm, am I interested in reading some popular series here? Would I like to take a look at the top picks for the day? Hmm, am I interested in, oops, oh, Ms. Diggy. Am I interested in, ooh, the ones that I know have won award win awards. We have Click Clack Moo, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, The Magnificent Thing. Oh my gosh, these are some really good books. These are some favorites that I have. You also can come up here and search by the author, title, or keyword. And so if you have a favorite book that you know, like, oh, I love the book, Clementine. Hmm, that doesn't look like the one I know and love. Oh, I think maybe they don't have the book I want. And that might happen sometimes, that's okay. So what if then I go, well, I do really like um, Clifford books. <gasps> This is making me think of Lila. She loves our Clifford books, doesn't she? Hey, there's two audio books. So that means they're just books to listen to. Maybe I decide, hey, you know what? I would really love to share some um, Scaredy Squirrel with my little sister. Oh, Scaredy Squirrel has a birthday party. Yeah, let's check that out. Oh, now this one is available just as a regular old book that I can read. When I click on it, I then see Scaredy Squirrel has a birthday party. Then I get to turn the pages just by tapping on the right hand side. Instead of trying to actually turn it, you just tap as you go through. And look, you get to read it as you go. Now, that's not the only way to do this. I can, now I can exit out of that. Exit. I also might want to check out Read to Me. This can be a great way to cement some reading skills if you want to have books read aloud while you're looking at the words. Let me tell you, that is really good for your reading skills practice. And it might be really good for ones too that where you find a book where you're like, oh, I really wanna read that, but it's maybe a little bit hard for me. We have a lot of interesting books down here. So let's say that I chose hmm, Splat the Cat. Because it's a read to me book, It's going to read the words out loud when I press play. Harper Children's Audio presents Splat the Cat by Rob Scotton. Performed by Dan Bittner. It was early in the morning and Splat was wide awake. Did you notice how the words got highlighted as it was reading? Whoops. <laughs> Another thing you can do finally with Epic is also go to your mailbox or your library where you can save books, like maybe take a book and go, oh, I want to read that later. Mailbox is a spot where I can give you some book recommendations. If you're like, there's just so many I can't choose. I can individualize this as we keep going and I notice maybe what books you like to read. But so, for example, I pulled together all the Scaredy Squirrel books for you. We had started learning about rocks before we went, and I know that those rock and gem books were really popular. So I pulled out a nonfiction book. 
I also did the Ninja Bread Man because I know that's one that you guys really like. So that's how Epic works. It's a great resource for you if you want to